In the last video, I discussed about how do we solve a pair of two linear first order differential equation by using eigenvalue method, okay? So, on the, we were trying to solve x prime equals to ax, right? This is the pair of first order linear differential equation. And lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the two eigenvalues of a. And then these signs of lambda 1 and lambda 2 or the values of lambda 1 and lambda 2 decides whether the origin 0, 0 is stable or unstable, okay? If both eigenvalues are negative, in that case, the, the origin is stable. If both eigenvalues are positive, then the origin is unstable. If one is positive and the other is negative, then it is still unstable, right? We call it is a node and nodal sink, right? It is called nodal source. It is called saddle, right? Saddle node, okay? And if one of them is zero and the other is negative, then you will not see a single uh, equilibrium point. There will be a line of critical point or line of the equilibrium point. That dotted line is the line of equilibrium point. And you see that the, uh, the direction field are pointing towards that line if one is zero and the other is negative. If one is zero and the other is positive, in that case, uh, the, the uh, direction field is pointing uh, away from that line of critical point. Okay, now on this, the main focus is what I'm going to do is if the eigenvalues lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the complex number. Here, the lambda 1 and lambda 2 were real numbers, right? But if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are complex number, then what will happen? That's the, that's the thing that we want to discuss here, okay? So, uh, look at this. If lambda 1 and lambda 2 are two eigenvalues, so the, this is lambda 1, let's say mu plus i nu, mu and nu are the real numbers, and lambda 2 is mu minus i nu, this is the conjugate of lambda 1, okay? So is another complex number, mu and nu are real numbers, be two eigenvalues, and in that case, the eigenvector will be a plus i b format, okay? A is a vector, and then i b, b is also a vector of numbers there. And then and V2 is A minus IB are their corresponding eigenvector, okay? Then the two solutions, when this is an eigenvalue and this is the corresponding eigenvector, then you write X equals to, uh, you write E to the uh, lambda T, right? You write E to the lambda T, okay? It, it should be E to the lambda and then T will be like that. And then... Uh, and then times V1 is that vector A plus IB. And another solution will be for this eigenvalue and then this eigenvector, the solution will be X equals to E to the lambda T and then V again, right? So you do the lambda 2. This will be mu minus I nu and then T A minus IB, okay? Now, so there is, so what we want to write here is there is a formula. If there is a E to the I, imaginary unit and then some number theta, then the formula is, Euler's formula is cosine theta plus i and then sine theta, okay? That's the Euler formula. If you use that formula here, then what do you get? Let us plug in that formula here. So what, first of all, what I can do is I can write like e to the mu times e to the i nu, mu t, right? And then i nu t, right? You can write that way, okay? And then what? And then you can write a vector a plus i vector b. You can write that way, right? Then what? Then you can write this as then you can write this as what I can do here is let me write on e to the mu t here, okay? And then write down that using that Euler's formula. You can write cosine nu t, right? And then plus i sine nu t. That's what you get. There is that nu t inside the bracket, parenthesis. And then uh, vector a plus i vector b. That's what you get. Okay? So if you simplify this, then what you get is, let me multiply these two, uh, let me foil these two. Then you will get e to the mu t is outside, e to the mu t is outside, right? You can write vector a cosine nu t, right? And then what is next? Uh, vector a 
uh, plus vector a times i sine nu t right uh, this is inside the parenthesis and then plus ib times cosine nu t plus ib ib times cosine nu t and then uh, this times that will be i square will be minus right and then vector b and then sine nu t that's the that's what you get right if you simplify this you will get e to the mu t right and then see two of these terms have i in common right and then these two terms they do not have i in common so what can you write there then so you can write a cosine nu t minus b these are vectors okay b sine nu t right and then and then plus i is common to these two you can write a sine nu t vector a sine nu t right uh, this is, uh, I'm not writing inside the parentheses, you just understand cosine nu t should be inside the parentheses. This nu t, this nu t should be inside the parentheses and then plus b cosine nu t. Okay, you can write that way. Now what can you write further is, let me distribute this to this term first, e to the mu t, right? And then vector a cosine nu t minus b vector v sine nu t, right? And then plus i, then plus i, and then e to the mu t, right? And then you can write, what is the remaining one is vector a sine nu t plus vector b cosine nu t. You can write that way, right? So, so see that this is the first one I was taking, okay? So similarly, if you take the second one, you will get exactly the same terms. Only the difference is that middle term will be, the middle sign will be negative. Everything else will be the same, okay? So if you assume that, if you assume that this whole thing, let me use different color here. If you assume that this whole thing, it is a vector, right? You see that? This whole thing is vector u and then function of t. And then if you do that whole thing, the second one thing is w t, what do you get? you get vector x equals to, you get ut plus i w t. You see that? By taking the first one. So let's say that this one is x1 and this one is x2, okay? So you see that x1 will be that. Similarly, you get x2 will be ut minus i w t. That's what you get. Okay, now, so we know that x1 is the solution. This one is the solution. This one is another solution, right? If x1 is solution, can we say that uh, this ut and wt both are solutions or not? Okay, we want to know that one, okay? So uh, also another thing that I wanted to show is if you want to find out the Ron skin of these two solutions, you will get non-zero Ron skin, okay? So you can try that, okay? Uh, as the run skin of uh, x1 and x2, x1 and x2, vector x1 and vector x2 are not zero, then, then you can write the, the, because if they are not zero, then we can say that x1, this x1 and x2 are the fundamental solutions, right? And then the, then the general solution, general solution is, you can write, uh, you can write basically, uh, uh, so the general solution is vector x is equals to, you can write c1 x1, right, plus c2 x2. So if you simplify this, you can, if you write this like, what is x1? Just write down x1 there. Let, you can write d1 and d2 so that I can write c1 and c2 later, I can use, right? So the, this is the linear combination of that. So what can you write then? Then uh, d1 and then c1 is? u t plus i w t right and then plus d2 and then u t vector u t minus i w t vector right you can write that way now if you combine that you can write d1 u t plus d2 u t so you can write d1 plus d2 u t right that is a c1 u t you can write that way okay plus i and then you can write c2 
uh, wt the similar way because d1 plus d2 you will get for c1 and the d1 minus d2 will be the c2 okay that's what you get so you can write vector x equals to c1 ut plus uh, c i c2 wt so this is the general solution okay that's what you get so where c1 and c2 will be the constant vectors there because uh, this uh, because you will get those vectors there when you simplify okay so uh, so if let me write a note if vector uh, the matrix a is non singular non singular again as before 0 0 is the only is the only equilibrium point equilibrium point okay also another note is i want to show that if x1 is the solution then ut and wt are the solutions too okay so i want to show that since since x1 is the solution solution of x prime equals to ax then then you can write x1 prime equals to uh, you can write if, let me write this way x1 prime minus ax1 equals to zero you can write that way right now let me plug in the value of x1 prime what is x1 prime u prime because x1 is ut plus iwt right so it will be u prime <coughs> plus i w prime minus a u plus i w you see that equals to zero now you simplify that you get u prime minus a u okay and then plus i you can write w prime minus a w okay equals to zero but see this is a complex number on the left side right so this is on the right side you can write zero plus i zero if you want to because this is basically zero on the right side so if you compare the left hand side and right hand side what do you get you get u prime minus a u equals to zero and also w <coughs> prime minus a w is equals to zero meaning that u is the solution and then w is also the solution so meaning that if x1 is a solution then its component the real part and the imaginary part are also separately the solution okay similarly since x2 is the solution that is also the solution okay so you can write the general solution in the linear combination of ut and wt so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to write down what are the steps to uh, solve a pair of uh, linear first order differential equation by eigenvalue method if eigenvalues are uh, both complex okay so the steps steps what are the steps number one is find the complex root number one is find the complex eigenvalues complex eigenvalues let's say those eigenvalues are lambda one is mu plus i nu and then lambda 2 is mu minus i nu you first find out that and then number 2 is find out the eigenvectors find the eigenvectors eigenvectors uh, for for lambda 1 and lambda 2 what are those eigenvectors is v1 equals to a plus ib these are both vector form and then v2 equals to uh, uh, let, let's say like a1 plus ib1 and a2 plus ib2 you can write that way okay that basically you will get a minus ib for v2 this will be conjugate and this will be conjugate too okay that's what you will get and number three you will do you'll write x1 equals to e to the lambda 1t and then v1 okay and then change into change into complex form complex form and write and write because you will have to as i did before you will have to plug in the value of lambda one and v1 and then you simplify and then we write in the form in the form of uh, x1 vector equals to u plus i w form okay and similarly you will do the another one okay you will get x2 will be u minus i w that's what you will get and similarly let me write uh, similarly in the short form x2 vector will be u vector 
minus i w vector. You write that way. And then uh, finally you find out the general solution, okay? Find the, the general solution. General solution. The general solution will be in the form of vector x equals to a c1, a c1 u t, okay, plus c2 w t. So you can write that form because whenever you find out u and uh, x1 and x2 in the form of u and w, then your final answer can be written in c1 ut plus c2 wt format, okay? So let us do one example here. This says that find the general solution and draw the phase portrait of x1 prime equals to negative one half x1 plus x2 and x2 prime equals to negative x1 minus one half x2, okay? So let us find out the matrix A solution. Here, we need to find out the eigenvalue first, right? A equals to negative one half, one, negative one, negative one half. That's matrix A, right? So uh, what is the uh, characteristic equation? Let me write characteristic equation is lambda squared minus the sum of those two is uh, negative one, right? So it will be plus lambda, one lambda, and then plus the the determinant, negative one half times negative one half is positive one fourth, and then negative one times one, that is the negative multiplication, right? So positive one. So one fourth plus one will be five fourth, right? You see that? One fourth plus one, right? Equals to five fourth, equals to zero, okay? So uh, let me write down this way. 4 lambda squared plus 4 lambda plus 5 equals to 0, okay? Now, what I want to do here is I want to find out the eigenvalues here. I want, I need to use the quadratic formula here, right? So, let's use that. So, lambda equals to negative b is negative 4 plus minus b squared under the root b squared is 16 minus 4ac, okay? Divide by 2a is 4, right? See that? So it is negative 4 plus minus, how much is that? 16 minus 4 times 4 is 6. So how much is that? 80? 16 minus 80 is negative 64, right? Divide by 8. What do you get? Negative 4 plus minus 8i divided by 8. If you split that, what do you get? Negative 1 half. And then plus minus 8 over 8 will be i. So what are the eigenvalues then? Eigenvalues are eigenvalues are lambda equals to negative one half plus i and negative one half minus i. See, the eigenvalues are basically the conjugate of each other, right? So what we want to do next is we want to find out the eigenvectors. So how do I find out the eigenvector? You should do av equals to lambda v, right? That's what you should do to find out the eigenvectors. Let us do for find out the eigenvectors here. So uh, let's do. Uh, I want to find out the eigenvector for lambda equals negative one half plus plus i. Okay. Uh, so for lambda, let's say lambda one. This is lambda one. That is lambda two. Equals to negative one half plus i. A v equals to lambda v. So V is A plus I V, you will see that, okay? So if you do that, then what do you get? You get, let's say this one is, uh, A V is, let me write down the matrix. So you get negative one half one, negative one, negative one half. Let's say V is, you can write whatever you want to. Let's, let's write down V1, V2 here, okay? And we'll find out the value of v1 and v2 there. And then lambda is negative one half, one half uh, plus i. And then let's say this is v1, v2, okay? So what do you get? If you simplify this, you will get negative one half v1 plus v2 equals to negative one half plus i v1. I'm just picking the first equation, okay? So what do you get? If you do that, you will get, let me, Simplify the right hand side first. Negative one half V1 plus V2 equals to negative one half V1 and then uh, plus I V1, right? Uh, if you add negative one half V1, 
these two things will cancel out right you see that this and this will cancel out so what is left is v2 equals to i v1 okay so what do you get then so if you said v1 equals to i okay or if you said v1 equals to 1 or i whatever it's the same thing you will get ultimately okay let's say v1 equals to 1 set v1 equals to 1 then you get then you get v2 equals to i okay so what is the vector then the eigen vector then the eigen vector eigen vector is you get v equals to v equals to v1 v2 right so 1 i 1i. You see that? So this is what you get. So the eigenvector is 1i. So what is the solution? Hence the solution is, again I'm taking only one eigenvalue here first, okay? Hence the solution is, solution is you get uh, x equals to what? You get e to the lambda 1, e to the, what is lambda 1? Lambda 1 is negative 1 half t and then negative one half plus i right plus i t because it is lambda one t so i distribute the, that t and then v is one i you see that so this can be written as what this can be written as you can write e to the negative one half t right and then this can be written as uh so this is what what sign i t will be sorry e to the i t this e to the one half t times e to the i t. That's what it is, right? You can write like e to the one half t times e to the i t, right? And then there is, you can write one as one plus zero times i. And then one is zero plus one times i, right? I'm writing in the form of a plus b i, okay? So no worries about that. So what is the Euler's formula for this? I'm copying the first thing here. And the second thing you do cosine uh, t plus i sine t and then the vector is 1 plus uh, 0 i right and then a uh, 0 plus 1 times i i'm writing in the uh, in the um, in the uh, complex form here okay so what i'm going to do here is i want to distribute this okay i want to distribute this with that Add this with that one okay this is a little bit of work there right so we are starting from let's say x1 this is v uh, is a vector for the first lambda one okay so this is the first solution I'm going to do here okay so what do you get if you distribute this whole thing inside here and then multiply what do you get multiply with this what do you get you get basically this is what you will get okay I mean, you don't have to distribute this, I mean, right in the complex from here because this is basically the zero and this is basically like zero here. You can just distribute that. What do you get? You get this way. So this is equals to e to the, e to the negative one half t, e to the negative one half t, right? And then cosine of t plus i sine of t. If you multiply these, if you distribute these to both of these, or if you if you if you distribute these to the, multiply these to the first one, this is what you will get, right? What is the second one? The second one is i times, right? I times e to the negative one half t, right? And then what? Cosine t plus cosine t plus i sine t. That is a vector x one, right? So what do we have to do here is. I want to distribute or I want to separate the real and the imaginary parts here, okay? So how does that look like? If you write that one, you'll write e to the negative one half t cosine t and then plus i times e to the negative one half sine t. This is the first one. And the second row will be i times that will be, let me write down the real first and then imaginary. Uh, or I can do that later too, so it's not a problem. So what you get here is i times e to the negative one half t cosine of t, right? And then i times i is i squared. So negative uh, e to the negative one half, negative one, right? Because i times i is i squared is negative one. One half t sine t. This is what you get, right? If you simplify that, I want to write real, real first and then imaginary, imaginary. So you'll write e to the negative one half t cosine of t plus i e to the negative one half t t 
T sign T. I want to write this one first because this doesn't have I. So I want to write this one as negative e to the negative one half t sine t, right? And then plus i times e to the uh, negative one half t. Uh, oh, by the way, this will be this will be cosine t. Yes, we are okay. So this can be written this way: e to the negative one half t cosine of t negative e to the negative one half t sine t this is like u plus i and then write down e to the negative one half t sine t this this has a little bit of work right so uh, e to the negative one half t cosine of t this is what you get okay so let us write this as u plus i w you can write u t plus i w t okay so this is x1, the first solution. Similarly, you will get x2 equals to ut vector. Okay, don't forget to write vector because this is in the vector form. Minus i w t. Okay, and now uh, you see that if you find out the, um, if you find out, let me write somewhere here. If you find out the road skin, you will, it's, it's a little bit of work there. If you find out the road skin of, uh, of an x1 and x2, you will get non-zero road skin, okay? So you can say that thus, uh, uh, also, let me write down that, also the road skin of x1 and then x2. This road skin is not zero, okay? Thus, the general solution, general solution of the given system, given system is, you can write vector x equals to c1, u1, because see, we are not writing c1, x1, because in the previous, uh, just before that, I showed you that if x1 and x2 are the solution, then u1 and u2 will be also the, uh, sorry, u1 and w1 will be the solution. u and w are also the solution. So c1u, uh, let me write c1u plus ut plus c2wt. And then there is, yeah, that's a c2wt uh, is also the solution, okay? c2wt, it's a vector, okay? Is the solution now if you want to write down what is the uh, value of u1 and u2 you can write it is like c1 what is u1 u1 is e to the negative uh, one half t cosine t cosine t and then minus e to the negative one half t uh, sine t it is ut and then plus plus c2 wt is e to the negative one half t sine t sine t and then uh, e to the negative one half t cosine of t this is what you get okay this is the final solution see x equals to that plus that is the very final solution now now i want to draw the phase portrait for this how do i do that is first of all we need to enter that equation your equation was actually i erased that it was x1 prime equals to negative one half x1 plus x2 and then x2 prime equals to negative uh, negative x1 minus one half x2 it was like this right so what i'm going to do there is i want to uh, i want to enter that so x1 equals to let's say x1 is x and y, x2 is y okay so uh, it is negative one half x okay and then uh, plus y that is x1 okay so the first equation and the second one is negative x okay and then minus one half y. That's what we had. Okay. Now look at this. How is the solution looking like? So the solution is basically everything is going like very nicely, beautifully to the to what to the zero zero, right? If you start from let's say if you start from here, see it is going to zero. You see that it's a very beautiful pattern. It is showing. Wherever you start, it is going to nicely to the origin zero zero okay that's what it looks like okay now what is the very important thing that we should be uh we should not forget here is 
So what was the uh, eigenvalues here? The eigenvalues lambda 1 equals to negative 1 half plus i and then lambda 2 equals to negative 1 half minus i. You see that? So if the eigenvalues have the negative real part because it, this is a complex number, right? The things that comes with i is called imaginary part and the things that comes without i is called the real part. If the eigenvalues are complex with negative real part, then you see that 0, 0 will be will be uh, uh, stable, but it, we call this as spiral in, okay? It is like spiral and then it is going to that. So it is called spiral in. But if you get that the first number or the, I would say real part is positive, but the, uh, the eigenvalues are complex and with real part positive, it will be spiral out. That will be unstable, okay? So if the real part is negative, then the zero zero is stable. If the real part is a uh, non uh, is positive, then it will be uh, it will be spiral out. That will be unstable case. Okay. 